let's take a look at order of magnitude and errors. So even if we only have a rough estimate of the number, you can still make use of that information. Even if it's not perfect, it can still be useful. And one way of talking about numbers, even when they're not perfect, is by using their order of magnitude. The order of magnitude of a measurement is the nearest power of 10. So let's say something has a mass of 120 kilograms. The order of magnitude is the nearest power of 10, or 100 kilograms, or 10 to the 2 kilograms. If something has a width of 300,000 meters, the order of magnitude is the nearest power of 10, which is 100,000 meters, or 10 to the 5th meters. Or if something has a thickness of 0.002 meters, the order of magnitude is 0.001, or 10 to the minus 3 meters. If you add 800 meters, the nearest power of 10 is 10 to the 3 meters. Physicists will often use the order of magnitude when we're not sure about the size of something, but we want a very rough estimate. Now let's take a look at errors. So when anyone makes a measurement, there are errors, always. Even the best equipment has errors, even if they're just very small. But errors are always there, and so we have to consider them. We divide it into two categories, random and systematic. Random errors are the errors which cause measurements to float around the true value. So let's say 25 students measure the length of a string using the same meter stick, and all the students get slightly different results, and the results are centered around the true length. The errors in this case are random errors. Random errors can be small. If the students are all very careful, we'll have small random errors. They'll all float just a little bit around the true value. And random errors can also be big. If the students are all doing the measurement of the string while standing in the back of a moving truck, then they'll float around the true value, but they'll float around a lot. Sometimes random error is referred to as noise in the data. The other category, systematic errors, are the errors which cause measurements to be offset from the true value. So let's say 25 students measure the length of the string using the same meter stick, but it's a crummy meter stick. We found it on the ground somewhere, and the meter stick gives readings which are always too small. Then all the students, even if they're very, very careful, will get measurements smaller than the true value. Systematic errors are often caused by a faulty instrument, like the meter stick I was just talking about, or by consistently using the device incorrectly. And this relates to the ideas of precision and accuracy. Precision refers to how close a group of measurements are to each other. If your measurements of a length of string end up very close to each other, then you have a high precision set of measurements. If there's a big spread in the measurements, then you have low precision sets of measurements. Precision is often affected by random errors. If you have large random errors, that will result in low precision. Accuracy, on the other hand, refers to how close the measurements are to the true value. If you take a bunch of measurements and the average of the measurements is very close to the true value, then you have high accuracy. If the average of all of your measurements is offset from the true value, then you have low accuracy. So accuracy is often affected by systematic errors. If you have large systematic errors, then that will result in low accuracy.